What's up, YouTube? Top South Bullies here checking in. I'm here to uh, show y'all how to tooth feed a pup. If you have a pup that's having an issue with eating, uh, it needs to be tooth feed. This is just a tutorial on how to do that. I got this uh, kit from my Amazon. It's a puppy tooth feeding kit. It comes with the syringe. It's a little red thing. You know, you slide it down their throat into their stomach. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Uh, first, you wanna make sure you don't have no air in it, and you, and you, you don't wanna put no air uh, all in the pup's stomach. And they get uh, one cc for each ounce of uh, body weight. So I'm using this uh, Epslack puppy milk replacer. I got this from uh, this is a pet store. Unless you can order it or whatever. If you can't find that, you could use goat milk. This is the can. Uh, you mix this half goat milk, half water. This needs to be diluted. And uh, or you can get the paddle version of of both of these. So I got this pup uh, that has a cleft lip. So he's having a problem latching to his mother. So I'm having to come in and tool feed him to make sure he's getting everything that he needs. <clears throat> so what you want to do is once you get the air out of there, you want to uh, get your marker or something to put a mark on there. You see that black mark I put right there? That's gonna let you know uh, that you're in the right spot. And what you wanna do is, where the puppy's last rib is, is where you want the end of the tube to be. And you want it uh, long enough to go in his mouth. So when you mark it, you know you're in the right spot. And when you go in here, you wanna go, uh, it's best to go like to the left side of the mouth. Make sure you, you're on top of the tongue and it should go in nice and easy. If you go in uh, and you're that far in, then I'm pretty sure you're in the stomach. But for some reason, if you do it and you uh, start to push it in him and it start coming out of his nose, you need to stop immediately. Because if you uh, if it went down his lungs and you popping his lungs full of milk, of course you're gonna kill him. So uh, I got it ready. You wanna hold him down when you do it. You don't wanna hold him up. You wanna hold him down. And this is way too much milk in this syringe, but you know I can keep track of how much I'm giving to him right here. So like I said, it's uh, one cc for every ounce of weight. So I'm gonna come in. <clears throat> we'll look at. You put it right there. When you put it in his mouth, he's gonna start like going. And he's pretty much gonna just start swallowing it. It's kind of easy than that. You'll feel you'll feel him swallowing it. See, I'm at that marker. When I get to that marker, I'm gonna stop it. I grab it. Yeah. Hold his head down and ease. Uh, ease it in a. Make sure you check and make sure there ain't nothing coming out of his nose. Okay. You just ease it out. Yeah, that puppy's full ready to go back in there the mother's taking uh excellent care of him he just having a he's having a problem latch he has a cleft lip now the vet uh says it's an easy fix when he get a little bit older i go in and i guess they'll see what i'm saying they'll, they'll uh stitch it together but it's probably this is a pet home uh this is a pet home boy right here Pretty sure I already got a, uh, I already have a home for this guy. 
This is one of the one of the four pups off Little Dude and Deja. This is the first first cleft that I ever produced. So I had a this is my second time doing this two feeding. I had to learn it. Uh, I noticed this guy was getting a little weak. Like he would try to latch, but he just wasn't getting it. So he was getting a little weak. He was underweight. He's five days old now. So compared to the other ones, he just w didn't, he wasn't getting enough food. So now that I've been two feeding him, uh, he's getting a little bit more energy back. So it's looking like that's what I'm about to do for him. Pull him out. Uh, I guess if you two feeding, you need to do it uh, for pups every uh, one cc per ounce of body weight every three to four hours. So that's pretty much it for the video. Let y'all check out this guy when he get uh when he get his surgery and get his cleft fixed. Like his palate is good. He just has a cleft lip. Like I said, they like I said they're gonna sew it. So it close. When he get a little bit older, I'm gonna make sure my guy make it. So we have to two feed him, put him back out with his mother's mother, taking good care of him. He just having a little uh, need a little help. Look at the little head on that boy. Look at him. Little tail on him. <laughs> yes, like I said, he's a. Uh, He's a pet, he's a pet home pup. So yeah, hopefully it's help y'all out. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos.